Quiz. Geäfter. Folks, good morning, and happy Christmas. Great to see you, give you a warm welcome. It's Christmas morning, and here we are to worship Jesus. I'm going to start with um, something that Bill Forrest gave me. That's me just um, demitting all responsibility. Uh, how did Mary and Joseph know that Jesus was seven pounds and six ounces when he was born? They had a way in a manger. Oh. Thank you to Bill. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Just a very few announcements because there's not terribly much happening over the next week. Well, it's, I don't know how to say Happy Christmas in Ukrainian. Maybe our Ukrainians could say Happy Christmas in Ukrainian. How'd you say it? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and we welcome you amongst others and the folks watching at home. The restrictions have lifted. If you feel more comfortable wearing a mask during the service, then please do so. We are not under any obligation to do so. If you're up here on the front at any point, then be aware that you will be on camera. The folks at home are watching and we're delighted that they are. But if you're camera shy or for whatever reason you don't want, wish to be seen, then please don't come up onto this um, area at the front. During the month of December, we raise um, funds for the work of CHAS, the children's hospices across Scotland. You can do that um, by giving online or on the exit out of church, there is a plate where you can make a donation if you so wish. Thank you to everybody who sent in a picture of yourself with your favorite Christmas carol, and uh, we're going to see those during our service. We're almost at the end of 2022. By the time we meet next Sunday, we'll be in 2023. So, was there something that you loved doing in 2022? 22. It might be time with family, it might be an activity, a holiday, something you ate, anything at all. A highlight from 2022, send it in and we'll make that into our New Year montage. On to our next slide. No time to pray this week. We meet again on the 11th of January. And also, advance notice for January, and that is about the services in the care homes. We're there every month. There's the folks who were there last Sunday, and what a great job they did. Four services, wearing masks and singing, Children Go, I Will Send You, at each of the centres. Um, by the end of it, we could barely stand, far less sing. Um, but thank you to everybody who came last week. Get it in your diary, the 15th of January. Let's make it happen in 2023. 
Those are all of the announcements. I want to say a big welcome to those of you that are kind of visiting with us this morning. It's great to have you here, and I hope that you enjoy being part of our worship together on Christmas Day. As is the norm, actually, on Christmas Day, whenever it falls, and it's not always on a Sunday, but it is always on the 25th of December, um, we don't have a pianist today. You're stuck with whatever I can play on the guitar. So, um, the opening song has been chosen. Beyond that, there will be the opportunity for you to choose a favorite Christmas carol. If I can't play it, I can't play it. That's just how it goes. Um, but I will do my very best, or we might just sing a cappella or something. Okay, but for just now, we are going to start by singing, come and join the celebration. And if you made it, to the village cross yesterday at noon then we sang this there there was a great crowd of folks i'm so grateful to those of you that came from the church there were a number from st paul's but the best thing actually is that there were lots of people there who don't usually do church but they came and they sang about jesus being born and so that in my mind made it worth doing we're going to sing, come and join the celebration. You need to stand because I don't do introductions. So let's just stand just now and then we'll sing. Come and join the celebration. It's a very special day. Come and join the celebration. That's a different come and join the celebration. <laughs> Let's see if we can find. This is quite stressful for the folks on AV as well because um, anything can happen on Christmas Day. That's the one. Woo! Shall we try again? And we are going to be led in our opening prayer by Maisie. Thank you. On this very special Sunday, let's join together in prayer and thankfulness and praise. The response this morning is the new king born today. Together we celebrate the new king born today. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, your birth at Bethlehem draws us to kneel in wonder at heaven touching earth. Accept our heartfelt praise as we worship you, our Saviour and our eternal God. Together we celebrate the new King born today. Lord Jesus, we celebrate your birth and experience the hope, peace, 
joy and love that you bring. Forgive our selfish ways. Forgive us for thinking more about ourselves than about others, for being so caught up in family celebrations that we have forgotten the family of humankind to which we also belong. On this Christmas day, forgive us. Together we celebrate the new king born today. Now hear us as we say together, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen. Just while I think of it, would somebody mind going and putting the bells off? Because I could hear them ringing all through the prayer. And the folks that live in the street will not be thinking as if they ring for an hour and a half. Thank you, Margaret. It's time for us to light our Advent wreath. And um, last night at midnight, we had the very exciting moment of being able to light the white candle, which stands for Jesus' birth. And um, who can remember what the other four candles represent? It was mentioned in the prayer. So if you were listening, you will know. Hope, peace, joy, love. Excellent. Right. Who is coming up to do some lighting? Oh, look at this tie. Show everybody your tie. Look at that, Fraser. Woo! Very, very good. <laughs> right. No. It's always quite a stressful moment. People get stressed at Christmas for all kinds of reasons. I get stressed about the timing at watch night and when it's midnight, and will we be singing still the night at that point? And I get stressed about lighting candles. There we go. Oh, okay. How many have we got? One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Right, I tell you what, um, Jack, you are going to blow this one out for me at the end, okay? Everybody else gets to do one. Right, Isaac, you're on a purple one, please. We'll do this as... Oh, that's going to blow it, isn't it, now that Esther comes up, okay? Right, and then Josiah, you can do another purple one, okay? I'll have to do the pink one. We'll give that to somebody else to do the purple one then. Thank you, Scott. Quite demanding. Ooh, that was a tricky purple one. Excellent, well done. Right, Josiah, come and do the pink one. <coughs> Excellent. Okay. Right, Ollie, can you do the purple one that's left? The manager? Right, Jack, just watch you. Manager? That's it. The higher. The higher. It's kind of awkward, isn't it? I don't want to set me on fire either. That's easier. Do it, do it, do it. Bit higher, bit higher. Oh, now. You're close, you're so close. Oh, well done, okay, well done. Now, okay, right. Fraser, you come round here. You get to do the white one. Superb, right. Jack and Esther. Are you ready? You'll need to kneel down. One, two, three. And again. Oh, well done. Right, I'll tell you what. Jack, do it again. One, two, three. Whoa, oh, did that get you? Did it? Did it? No, I don't know. Okay. Jack nearly gets set on fire. That would have been disastrous. Are you okay, matey? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's fine. Right, okay. Yeah, okay, pyromaniac in our midst. Um, we're going to sing um, Like a Candle Flame with the verse, um, uh, God's good gift of 
Jesus. So, I don't know if I can play this or not. I'll look it up. Jocelyn could play it. Have you got your flute with you? You're useless. You do the woman. Like a candle flame. 420. Jocelyn, you told me you always have your flute. Other than when we go to the care home and I needed you. And then this morning. Just as well, I love you. Here we go. Like a candle flame. So can we sing it again? We got there, we got there. Now, some of you that are up here at the front have brought presents. So why don't you all go back down and then let's have, will we, will we start kind of older or will we start very, very young? Let's do very young because they should be, have less patience than the older ones. Right, so if you are still at nursery and you got a present, if you would like to bring that out. Anybody? Anybody at nursery? Brought a present? No, no, no. Is this you coming to biff me because of the candle? <laughs> Come and show us. Jack Lynch, look at this. Can you do hands up or are they too heavy? We needed these last week for our superhero nativity, and then Anton could have worn them. <laughs> oh, they are great. Now, you be very careful. You don't, you don't biff your mummy with those. Okay, no. You can... <laughs> <laughs> okay, but I reckon your dad's abs are about up for it, okay? So, you can try that. Excellent. Right, okay, thank you very much, Jack. Um, let's go a little bit older. Have we got MD in primary one? that brought a present. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Fraser, turn around and show the people. Look at that. That is amazing. Right, let's, um, can we get a microphone? Is that possible? Right, tell us the different things this does, Fraser. It's scripture. And I think we'll go as high as primary two just now. We've got any P2s, here they come. Oh, Ollie, 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 wow. Right, tell us why these are so special. Because I got them from Santa. You got them from Santa and that makes them super, do you know I love the colour? That's an amazing colour. What size of shoe are you? Would they fit me? No. Oh, no? Because I thought I could wear them for my ballet dancing. <laughs> no? No? Right, okay. Tell us which, um, do you actually play for a team? Tell everybody who it is. Colts of Cumbernauld. Colts of Cumbernauld, brilliant. Ollie, thank you for showing us. I, I hope they get dirty very soon. <laughs> okay, with lots and lots of playing. And you'll get those wee bits of black stuff in them after the first time you wear them. Astro, okay. Ollie, thank you so much. Let's give Ollie a round of applause. He can sit down, that's smashing. And I think we'll stop there just now because we're gonna have lots of opportunities to see presents. 
And instead, just now, we are going to watch... Uh, no, we're going to choose a song. Right, Colin's looking nervous, but he's not as nervous as me. So, um, this is your chance, if there's a song that you would love to sing on Christmas Day, choose it now. Love came down at Christmas, I heard first, so I'm going to go with that, okay? Because we've not sung that at any other point. Not in that book. Love was born at Christmas. That's not what we want. We want love that is, love came down at Christmas. Oh, come on. Four, five, one. In the original book that I looked in, it's the stress. Here we go. the wrong tune, so I'm just going to make this one up. Let's just sing unaccompanied, okay? <laughs> that is definitely not the tune I know for Love Came Down at Christmas. So are we ready? Let's stand up and we'll sing Love Came Down at Christmas. And if this is in the wrong key, it's my fault. Love came down at Christmas Love, oh love I'm glad that we still went ahead and did it unaccompanied. We're going to watch our montage now, and you will see what some of you decided was your favourite Christmas carol. And actually, now I think about it, I shouldn't have been surprised at Susan's suggestion for that song.
and a number of Away in a Manger. And I did hear somebody shout out Away in a Manger. Um, who was that? Excellent, Scott. Will we sing it now? Since it's your favourite. Let's do that. <clears throat> I should know how to play this. I played it about 70 times last week. But anyway, there we go. I'll still look it up. And it gave Colin time to find the words. Let's stand and we'll sing Away in a Ranger. Thank you, Scott, and thank you to the folks who said that Away in the Manger was their favourite. Now, I think we maybe got as far as P2, didn't we? So does that mean we're at P3 now? Have we got any P3s in our midst? Esther, 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 Nell. Right, show folks what you've got. You've been shy. And... I mean, tell us what this thing does. What is it? Or show us. Ooh, a little light that's in the shape of a dog and it can move its arms and legs and, well, legs, I guess, legs <laughs> and tail. Yep. And that goes perfectly on your art desk, doesn't it? Excellent. And then what's this? Is that for hitting your mum? No. It's got a snitch at the bottom of it, so it must have something to do with who? Harry Potter. You've been very shy. <laughs> Harry Potter and when we open it up, will we do it? Everybody will see. Oh, look at this. We're almost longing for it to start raining. No, 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 no. Ah, brilliant. Okay, we'll put it back down. Oh, just dropped the mic. <laughs> Don't do that, sorry. Excellent. Right, you going to say something? No? Okay, that's fine. Thank you so much for showing us some of your stuff. Excellent. Right, that's fine. Any other P3s or equivalent? No, okay, I think we're up to P4. Right, Scott, up you come. You take that. That's great. Rona will help you put it back in. <laughs> right, Scott, show us what you've got. Tell us. A Google Chromecast for the TV in my room. A, group, a Google Chromecast. Yeah. I don't even know what that is, Scott. You've left me behind. So what, what does this mean? Uh, it cast, you can cast stuff to your television from your phone or iPad. Ooh, wow. And then, um, do you know how to use it? Not yet. I've got some, but I'm not ready for this one yet. Right, okay. So you either need to ask your mum and dad, or YouTube's probably better, <laughs> yeah, to get that sorted, yeah. work out how to use it. 
Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, Auntie Linda knows how to do it. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. Dad, Dad is Dad. Dad, Dad, Dad knows. Daddy. Excellent. Well, we're so glad that um, you might even get that set up today and tomorrow. <laughs> Next week. Right, okay. Next Excellent. Week. Okay, I'm getting the cues. Next week. Scott, I'm so glad you brought that. And, and maybe next week you can tell me how you got on with it. Yeah. That sounds brilliant. Thank you. Well done, Scott. <laughs> Which must mean we've reached the starry heights of P5s. Have we got any P5s in our midst? Right, out you come, boys. Not shy. Right, tell us what this is. Uh, a Porky the Pig. Porky the pig, who is a character from which thing? Minecraft. Minecraft. And um, is he cuddly? Yeah. Is he cuddly in Minecraft? No. No. Okay, that's fine. We all have a softer side. You just need to look for it. Excellent. Thank you for showing us Porky the pig. And Isaac, tell us about this bit of Lego. Uh, this is my advent lego <laughs> it's your advent lego so this is not a christmas present <laughs> no but you got a piece of lego each day in advent yeah is that right yeah a couple of pieces and i put it together to make that isn't that an amazing advent thing Woo! excellent because all the stuff i got um for christmas is too big to bring all right okay that's fine <laughs> that's reasonable well that that seems better than just eating chocolate every day in advent <laughs> thank you very much isaac well done let me find my bit of paper that tells me what's happening next. After toys, we've got a reading. Okay, so, um, who is on the reading? Macy's doing the reading. Macy, thank you. We're reading from Luke chapter one, two, rather, verses one to seven. These words should be quite familiar. Thank you, Macy. A reading this morning is from Luke chapter two, and we're reading the first seven verses. At that time, the Roman Emperor Augustus decreed that a census should be taken throughout the Roman Empire. This was the first census taken when Quirinius was governor of Syria. All returned to their own ancestral towns to register for this census. And because Joseph was a descendant of King David, he had to go to Bethlehem in Judea David's ancient home. He traveled there from the village of Nazareth in Galilee. He took with him Mary, to whom he was engaged, who was now expecting a child. And while they were there, the time came for her baby to be born. She gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him snugly in strips of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no lodging available for them. Amen. Thanks be to God. See, Luke sets the birth of Jesus in a specific historical moment. He tells us who the governor was. It can be looked up and verified whether Jesus was born in a manger, or was it a cave, or was it the, the lower bit of actually the house of relatives, we will never know for sure. But we do know that Jesus was born because God loved the world so much that he sent his only son. And so that is worth celebrating today and every day. It's time to choose another song. Oh, come all you faithful. I think you're just deliberately being horrible to me today, <laughs> Jocelyn. We might fall out. <laughs> oh, come all you faithful. I'm just taking my time because it takes calling ages. It's, he's, <laughs> he's maybe better at the alphabet than me. Oh, come and. Oh, come let's. Where's oh, come all? Oh, I don't believe this. Oh, come all you faithful. 491. It came after, oh, come let, right? And it should be before. Let's stand and sing, oh, come all ye faithful. And we get to sing all four verses. By verse four, I might be able to play it. Are we ready? Let's stand up and sing, oh, come all ye faithful. <coughs> Oh. 
Yes, Lord, we greet you born this happy morning. Jesus, to you be glory given. And that's why we're here this morning to worship Jesus and to celebrate his birth. I think we've reached um, primary six, seven, first year, second year. Okay, all of you guys come up at once. Let's do this. I'm going for safety in numbers. Is that blue tack? Actually, that's a teacher's gift, that. A bit of blue tack at Christmas. <laughs> Woo! Never have any of that in school. Right, Beth, show and tell first. What'd you get? I got a phone for Christmas. You got a phone for Christmas. And um, have you managed to like power it up, switch it on? Yeah. Mm. Put in some contacts. Yeah. Mm. Excellent, okay. So is this really so that you can phone your mum when you're out and about? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> I, I approve. I approve of this. I guess you might contact your friends as well. I hope you have many, many happy hours. <laughs> Does this mean you won't fight for the switch with Isaac quite so much? Yeah. Mm. Ah, time will tell. Time will tell. Excellent. Finley, I, I'm, I'm thinking these might be more my size. <laughs> What size are they? Uh, eight to six. They're too big. <laughs> too big. Okay. Um, tell us um, what makes these ones so special. Uh, I got them for Christmas. You got them for Christmas. That makes them special. And my other boots ripped. Your other ones yeah. ripped. Oh, well, I'm very glad that Santa knew about that and could bring you <laughs> new boots. I dropped one. That's fine. And um, tell us, um, do you, Ollie, I think, do you play in fives or fours? Fours. Okay, um, what kind of football I'm, do you play? I'm going on to nine aside. Nine aside. And which position are you going to play? Centre, maybe a centre back. Excellent, that's a lot of running. Or holding midfield. A lot of running. I hope your boots serve you well. Okay, thank you so much for showing us them. Um, Rowan, you didn't get football boots. Bit of a family theme going there. No, right, okay. Tell us what you got. I've got an apple pencil. An apple pencil? Oh, I can use it on my iPad to like draw and all that. Excellent. Excellent, okay. So um, you could take copious notes when you come to church. <laughs> it might not be charged enough. That is a very good excuse. <laughs> Thank you to Rowan and Finley and Beth for coming and showing us your presents. We have got another toy slot later, so that's fine. I don't need to get the adults up yet. Um, but. We are going to hear just now a Christmas carol that I'm pretty sure most of us won't know. But um, in Ukraine, this is a Christmas carol that would be sung. I was learning from the Prokairis today that actually in Ukraine, most people don't celebrate Christmas until the 7th of January. But they are um, they're giving us a special early entry for Christmas and they're going to come and sing for us now. Is that okay? Yeah? On you come.
you so much. And do you know what? That sounded almost like we could have joined in. <laughs> almost. <laughs> almost. Thank you so much. And um, we're glad that you're celebrating Christmas with us today. We're going to um, watch a very short video just now. And um, I don't know how many of you last night snuggled up and had a bedtime story before you went to bed. Did anybody get a bedtime story before bed last night? A few folks? Yeah, 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 a few folks. This is a little girl and her dad and a Christmas story. And in the same region, there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with great fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you, you will find a king wearing a magnificent crown. No, Dad, that's not it. Oh, really? L let me try it again. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a powerful, well-trained soldier. No, Dad, you did it again. That's not right. Okay, uh, how about this? And this will be a sign for you. You will find a democratically elected president. What? No. A trendy motivational speaker. No way. A big tech CEO. A movie star. Time traveling cyborg? No, no, none of those are right. The shepherds weren't going to find any of those. OK, then, little Miss Know-It-All. What did they find? For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling cloths and lying in a manger. Oh, that's right, a baby. Does that even make sense? A, a baby is totally helpless. Yeah, but if Jesus didn't come as a baby, mm -hmm. then he would have known what it was like to grow up. Ah, oh, but wait, why did he have to grow up? That's easy, to save us. Ah, well then that means that the best part about Christmas is... The baby. Right, the baby. Oh, well, I guess it's time you get some sleep. We got a big day ahead of us tomorrow. No, we're not done with the story. Okay, just a little longer. And suddenly, there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying glory to God in the highest and on earth peace among those with whom he is. Perhaps we are just too used to the story that we don't get surprised anymore that when we think God sending a saviour, he would send a baby. We just expect that. But actually, it is absolutely mind-blowing when we're taken back to think about all that that really means. It's time for us to sing again. And um, I'm listening, well, or maybe covering my ears. It's somebody's birthday. Oh, good. I can play that. Cr crackers. It might be under crackers, or it might be under it's somebody's birthday. Colin, I got there first this time in the great race. <laughs> I started this service with a plectrum. It has gone miss missing in action. There we go. Here we go. Feeling the pressure. No, he's not. Cool as a cucumber is our Colin. Cr 
crackers in Turkey? Do you know, if you can't find it, we'll manage the chorus anyway. No? We'll just do the chorus, right? Okay, so it's somebody's birthday. I won't forget as I open the things that I get. I will remember the inn and the stable so bare and Jesus who once lay there. We'll just keep singing it until you get it. <laughs> it's somebody's birthday. <laughs> Did George have to help you there? <laughs> Team effort, good. Here we go. <clears throat> Crackers and turkey and pudding and cream. Toys in the window that I've never seen. This is the Christmas that everyone sees, but Christmas means more to me. It's somebody's birthday I won't forget. As I open the things that I get, I remember the inn and the stable so bad, and Jesus who once lay there. Everyone's on shopping late every night For candles and presents and Christmas tree lights This is the Christmas that everyone sees But Christmas means more to me It's somebody's birthday I won't forget As I open the things that I get I remember the inn and the stable so bare and Jesus who once lay there. Christmas morning, the start of the day. There's presents to open and new games to play. This is the Christmas that everyone sees. But Christmas means more to me. Last time. It's somebody's birthday, I won't forget. As I open the things that I get. I remember the inn and the stable so bare and Jesus who once lay there. Excellent. I'm glad we got there. Good words reminding us in the midst of everything that's happening today that it's Jesus' birthday and that's what we're celebrating. Time to see just the last um, few toys. So if there are any grown-ups that have got toys, I'm going to show you mine. Oh, the one I've opened. And um, this is, you know, it's not a bottle opener. <laughs> I know that's what some of you were thinking. It's not. It is um, for my bike, the bike that I got after my birthday. And um, so now I have all the tools, but my dad can still fix it for me. <laughs> so that was my present this morning. Um, anybody else got a present? Any other grown ups? Phyllis, yes. up you come. I got a new jumper. And it's lovely. I've got this bike on. Oh, you've got I a microphone. I hope you like it. Yes. So it's you. But I've got a wee question for you, Julie. Uh huh. It's got embroidered on it, weird fish. It's because you are. No. Is that is that a description of the giver or the receiver? <laughs> giver or receiver? <laughs> giver. Giver. Yeah, giver. Yeah, definitely yeah. giver. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, well, that makes a pair of us. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Excellent. Loving it. Any other, uh, any other grown-ups get a present? Amy, come and show us. I got a charm to add on to my bracelet. Maybe I can oh, that's lovely. Oh, and it's a love heart. Oh, He's so sweet. So sweet. Is he a keeper? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. Excellent. Amy, thank you so much. You didn't bring him with you this morning. Another time, another time. Okay. Any other grown-ups? Oh, Kirsty yeah. and Jack. Yeah. So we've got our map that we were brought by Santa this morning. Oh, wow. What's yeah. your map? La Pala La Pool. Jack's challenge. Oh, you have to go what, through yeah. a tunnel yeah. to Daddy's gym. Yeah. And then lava. Through, oh, through the lava. Theme. Oh, my goodness. And then what did you have to do? You had to lift a rock. Yeah. The balloons, yeah. and then the balls drop huh? and you found your, your chocolate beer. You found yeah, your chocolate beer. Wow. And have you eaten it already? Yeah. 
Yeah? <laughs> did, did Dad eat it? Yeah, Daddy ate it. Daddy ate it. Thank you so much. You. Wow, Santa was busy in your house. That is absolutely superb. Any last... Nobody's going to go home crying because they didn't get to show their present. Tom, Papa, Dad, whatever you... You. Out you come. Somebody said that they did they get a bag. I did get a bag. <laughs> For the last 50 years or so, I've been hoping the family would buy me a new bicycle. <laughs> but all I get is on your bike. <laughs> However, they did bring me the second favourite thing. Oh. Jacob. <laughs> There's a fair chance this will last till about three o'clock. Brilliant. Thank you. <coughs> We'd like you to bring them to our house <laughs> for lunch. Bad chance. <laughs> We're going to see um, some pictures just now of characters who appear in the Christmas story. Not in every nativity play, but in the Christmas story. So um, I'm sorry if that's quite small, but... Um, who can identify the character with the sheep draped around his neck? That would be a shepherd. And the shepherds in the Christmas story remind us the outsiders, those that are maybe on the fringes, are welcomed in the story. Who's the second character dressed in baby blue? Mary. And Mary reminds us that if you are young and inexperienced, and just enjoying being a kid, you have a place in the Christmas story. Underneath, who, Mary, who do you think that is? Joseph, yeah, who was confused and didn't really understand his place in the story, but he was still included in the Christmas story in God's rescue plan. Underneath Joseph, we've got who? The wise men who were curious. They went on a journey, they followed the star, they asked lots of questions, they sometimes went to the wrong place, but they got there eventually because they kept on going in their um, questioning. So the Christmas story has place for those of us who are just curious about the whole thing. Up at the very top, that's hard to make out, there's an angel and there's an old man. Um, any guesses who that might be? Zachariah, well done. Thank you, Katrina, I'm glad you were here. Uh, Zachariah, who didn't believe it, what God, um, through the angel, told him about his wife becoming pregnant, that can't happen. And that tells us that even if we don't really believe it all at Christmas time, God still wants to include us in his good news story. Underneath Zechariah, we've got an angel of some description. And um, the angels were full of joy. They were the messengers. And if you are feeling full of joy this Christmas, you find your place in the Christmas story because of the angels. The, the old pair um, are in the temple eight days after Jesus is born. Anybody know their names? Simeon and Anna, okay? And um, they were quite elderly, and they remind us that even if we are getting on, and we maybe feel as though our best years are behind us, God still wants to show up and surprise us at Christmas time. The old have a place in the Christmas story. And then who's this angry looking guy down at the bottom? Herod. Herod. He doesn't appear in many nativity plays because he's a baddie. But some people feel threatened by the story of Christmas and of Jesus being born. And if that is you this morning... The Christmas story tells us that actually there is still a place for you, that the good news of Christmas is for you. So if you're an outsider, you're young, you're old, you're joyful, you're disbelieving, you're threatened, you're curious, you're confused, there's something in the Christmas story for you. Your character is there. And the Christmas story is about God saying to the world, I love you. I'm giving you the thumbs up, even although you make a mess of things. 
And so what you're going to get as a little gift on your way out this morning um, is a little thumbs up. Okay? And you can take that away with you. It's got a sticky back, plasticky thing. So you can put it somewhere in your house. We have tested this at home. It does hold toothbrush. It holds your charging wires for your new phone or your whatever, okay? And then you don't lose them because we're always losing chargers in our house. Um, you can hang a dish towel on it, if that's your thing. You can hang a bag on it. Maybe not too heavy, but you can hang a bag on it. And every time you see it, remember that no matter what you've done, God's giving you a thumbs up. He loves you so much that he left heaven to die for you. He left heaven to be born as a baby for you. God is giving you the thumbs up. There's lots of different colors. Don't cry if you don't get your favorite one. I could probably do swapsies. God wants you to know that you are very, very loved this Christmas. We're going to pray just now, and Phyllis is coming to lead us <coughs> in this, this prayer. Thank you. And just before, before we pray, let's practice using our thumbs. So I hope you've got thumbs at the ready. You, you, you don't have to do this, but uh, it may help some of us in our prayers. So um, before we pray, let's practice thumbs up, right? Thumbs down, thumbs out, and thumbs in, right? So that's going to be our, our prayer. And we've got a response that's coming on the screen, and there it is. The response is, we give you the thumbs up. Lord Jesus, on this day, your birthday, we give you the thumbs up. So let us pray. Dear God, with thumbs in the air, we praise you for all your gifts, especially Jesus, whose birthday we are celebrating. Lord Jesus, on this day, your birthday, we give you the thumbs up. Dear God, with thumbs pointing to the ground, we say sorry for the times we have thought, said, or done things that have displeased you. Lord Jesus, on this day, your birthday, we give you the thumbs up. With thumbs pointing out towards the outside world, we pray for others, for all who are sick, or sad, or caught up in the horrors of war. Lord Jesus, on this day, your birthday, we give you the thumbs up. And finally, with thumbs pointing to our hearts, we pray that we might become more like Jesus. Lord Jesus, on this day, your birthday, we give you the thumbs up. Amen. Thank you. Phyllis. It's time for us to finish. We're going to um, have a final song and then we're going to say a, a kind of blessing prayer to one another using sign language as we go. And um, so this is, if you don't choose now, you have to ask Alexa when you go home. Joy to the world. I heard it. It went in. Which we had last night as folk were leaving. And Jocelyn played it on her flute. <laughs> because it's kind of a flutey song. Anyway, here we go. Joyce of the World. Has he got it? Ah. Oh. No, that's no, oh, that's the wrong, wrong one. one. Oh. <coughs> Jim. I should just use the index. That's what it's there for, I know. Here we are. <laughs> Let's stand together. <clears throat> it's quite high, isn't it? 
I'll bring it down. That's slightly better. Here we go. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Let us receive our King. Let every heart prepare him room. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and heaven and nature sing. Stay standing and uh, let's look at this together, if we can. Is there not a VS, uh, there's not a thing? All right, I've not said that to you. Excellent, okay. In which case, let's just say the grace to one another. Okay. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Folks, enjoy the rest of your day and thank you so much for being here for worship this morning.